it's 5 a.m. I've been editing for a long time. It's been a long and crazy and exciting day, but I have to stop. I have to stop here. This episode is already almost 30 minutes long, and I still have a lot more footage to go through. So this is going to be a two-part episode. Day one of Gen 2, part one. Lots of exciting new stuff and just a, a crazy fun day. I'm going to go to sleep now, but I'm going to edit the rest of this and uh, you'll get double uploads today. So stay tuned. Part two is coming in, uh, I don't know, a few hours probably. Just crazy. Crazy day. Thursday. It's Thursday, 1.43 p.m., and today could be our day. I just sort of feel like I'm on standby for whenever Gen 2 does drop. Thank you. Go so, check it out. Jambalaya and Poe Boys. You guys take care of one another. Okay? All right, man. Be safe, man. Thank you. Yo, shout out to Darrow's right here. <laughs> We're in Carson right now, so if you're in Carson and you want some uh, Cajun, Creole, New Orleans style food right here, it's good. And uh, tell them I sent you, just for fun. Just a little while ago, Sprint may have accidentally leaked that Gen 2 is coming today. In the meantime, I'm here at Ikea because who doesn't love cheap Swedish furniture? don't need much. The apartment is furnished with a big couch, a bed frame, um, some shelves, a dining table. The main thing I'm looking for today is a new desk, a bigger desk, something that's going to be a little more comfortable to work at than my current desk. And then also probably a bunch of small stuff like a towel. This is like a different color green, a different vibration pattern than I've seen before. Is this happening right now? Something new, it's something new. Look at this, no sprites, they're new. It's about to happen, you guys. Where is Cassie? See that? It's something new. Just gotta wait here for it to load. So many empty spaces. This is the first time I've ever seen yellow on the Go Plus, and it actually looks more like, I call it spring oh green. You got it? Yeah. What? Oh. Cassie just got a Johto medal. My thing is not updating. Oh my, god. oh my god. It's here. I gotta restart my game. Yes! Silhouettes, Sentret, Snubble, something else that's not loading. Again, it's still not loading for me. I at least have the silhouettes though. My game is broken. I can't, I'm like my hands are shaking. I can't even like. Look, I don't want to. I don't want to use Go Plus, but it won't actually load. Yes. Centra. I just have to say, it is taking extreme patience to get through this IKEA trip. Try to get a little bit of the stuff that I came for and uh, you know, just keep myself from running straight out of here to catch all these Pokemon right now. Cassie's catching them. They're not really loading for me. <sighs> Did you find it? Yeah. Okay, let's go. This, this is not where I was expecting to be when Gen 2 dropped. Although if I'm being honest, I wasn't really expecting to be anywhere, so. I guess this is fine. Just a little bit of stuff here. Here we go, let's see. Let's see if I can get them to load this time. How many have you caught already? Five. Five? She's caught five Gen 2 Pokemon. Is it server issues all over again? Is it like launch week? <laughs> We've already seen Snubble and Sentret on the nearby list. Cassie has Murkrow right now, so there should be one of those here. Ekans? 
I have Natu and Centret now on my nearby list. I'm in. I'm gonna turn off Pokemon notif notifications. Don't want Go Plus catching any of these new Pokemon for me. I want to see them all. So, there's a snubble there. Since nothing's happening here, we're gonna head to the Pike. And I'm sure it's gonna be crazy there. Of course, there's traffic on the 405 right now. We're pretty close to Long Beach. We should be at the Pike uh, soonish. I've waited seven months, so I can wait another 20 minutes. We're here. I'm not loading. Niantic just tweeted that they're seeing an incredible number, oh, here we go, an incredible number of trainers logging in and that they're working on the server latency issues. So, uh, right off the bat, Centred again here and Swineub a pair of volt orbs right there. Let's head down. I don't see too many people yet, so maybe the word's not quite out there. Tomorrow, though. It feels, honestly, right now, like, like I don't even want to catch Gen 1 Pokemon. I just got to save my Pokeballs for the new stuff. Look at this. It's like launch week all over again. <laughs> just spinning Pokeball. This is how it's going to be all day. Of course I did. See? Oh man, we are still both super sore from our hike a couple days ago. All right, more spinning Pokeball, but at least we're here. I'm standing next to a shadow, next to some rings, next to what should be a Pokemon spawning. Probably a Gen 2 Pokemon. We can stand here and wait. There's probably gonna be a lot of that today. Welcome back to launch week of Pokemon Go. I don't like that feeling. I feel like the same sort of anxiety like this feeling yeah. that i need to be doing so much right now Dude, oh my god like yes I'm, I'm in you're in yes chin chow is what i'm waiting on here cassie got it for some reason but should i feed it a pine berry there you go oh there's a new movement side to side right there oh my god hard so there's already i guess one of the new movements that uh they were talking about the chin chow went to the side of the screen you're lucky oh, that's, that's true um don't forget, this is a perfect time to be using Lucky Eggs because every new Pokemon you register to the Pokedex is worth an additional 500 experience. With a Lucky Egg, 1,000 experience. So lots of potential experience to be had with these new Pokemon. Well, the Venonat spawned, but I... Did the Chinchou just disappear? Despawn? It's probably lag. There's a Wooper there. All right, well, let's just start walking. I guess I'm in now, but the Chinchou's gone. I got it, I got it. My first, my first Gen 2 Pokemon, Centret. It is a normal type. It's gonna be one of the most common Pokemon in Gen 2. Uh, wow, I'm not used to these new Pokeball physics yet. It's, I wouldn't call it the Rattata equivalent, um, but it is the common normal type Pokemon that you normally see at the beginning of the game. Um, so I guess in that sense, it is the Rattata equivalent. I forgot my lucky egg. I was just talking about I it. Was just Cassie's mad at me already. <laughs> there it is. Centret is going to evolve into Furret for 25 candies. Just like Rattata. Scratch and Grass Knot. Interesting. Grass Knot is one of the new moves that was added. Room for improvement, but you know what? This is my first Gen 2. So it gets a nickname. I don't know. I might keep it. I might not. There's a Nana Berry. One of the new berries that was added. We've got a lot to talk about. So, before I forget, I gotta put this on. I'm gonna put an incense on. And we're gonna go put some lures on the Trilure because that is, that's sad to see. Let's go. Yeah, this is not the Trilure. I uh, have to go back to the car for a battery charger. But I just picked up my first egg since Gen 2 released. One of these two. Just gonna start incubating now because I would love to see which Pokemon are hatching from what eggs. And all this information, I'm sure, is gonna become available uh, over the next couple days. I mean, honestly, we should have an idea of how everything's gonna work, what moves everything's gonna have by the end of the day today. But my priority for today is going to be just kind of going over 
all the Gen 2 Pokemon with you guys that I encounter. I'm trying to bring everyone up to speed because I know a lot of you have requested that I kind of do that, introduce you guys to Gen 2 in case you're not familiar with them. So that's the goal for today. I'm just gonna talk about each of these Pokemon and tell you what I know about them. And then over the next couple days, we'll get into all the technical stuff. Uh, best move sets, which Pokemon are gonna be good for training, which Pokemon are gonna be best for battling, all that good stuff. Everything you guys really wanna know about how these Pokemon are gonna perform in the game, that's all coming soon. We're seeing a lot of Gen 1 spawns still. So it seems like maybe the ratio is uh, favoring Gen 1 at the moment. That's at least what it seems like right now. Oh my god, oh shoot. Okay, hold on. Um, we have Wooper, Chinchou, and my incense just spawned a Yanma. So I'm going to start with Yanma. Yanma is a bug and flying type. I'm not expecting it to be super common. Um, it does evolve in fourth generation, but in gold and silver it wasn't a terribly common bug type Pokemon. So, 685. It's not going to be a very strong Pokemon based on its uh, base stats from the original games, but when it does evolve later on, it will get a lot better. But again, that's Gen 4 we're talking about, so don't expect that to happen anytime soon. 1420 experience. I'm leveling up today for sure. We have uh, Wing Attack Aerial Ace, kind of a bummer of a moveset. What else is going on here? Okay, quick egg hatching. Um, this is just a Gen 1 egg for sure. Ooh, Charmander. I'll take that. That's not bad. It really does smell like like hot dogs and farts right here. I'm, we gotta go somewhere else. I've never been here before. Inside a Pokestop right now. And, uh, well, I lost Chinchou, but here's Wooper. Wooper will likely be pretty common in water biomes. It's sort of like a newt salamander type thing so i'd expect it more in freshwater biomes but you know we are seeing it here at the pike in the harbor but we do see things like magikarp uh slow poke psyduck typical river biome pokemon so i'm expecting that's probably where you'll find whooper it is water and ground type and it evolves to quagsire but it's probably not going to be a uh, super strong pokemon right now we have water gun and mud bomb another centra let's keep moving it looks like you know it's sort of starting to come back to life out here okay here is Merrill Merrill if you were around at uh, the time that Gen 2 was first launched back in I think 2000 2001 Merrill was one of the first Pokemon previewed and originally when it leaked it was known as Pika Blue um, I mean that's just the name that people gave it but here it is, Meryl. It's uh, it should be fairly common in water biomes as well, just like Wooper. It's just a water type. It evolves to Azumarill, and then Bubble and Bubble Beam, and then in third generation gets a baby form, Azurill. Azumarill doesn't have great stats, but it could be decent. You know, like just about every Pokemon is with Water Gun and Hydro Pump, if it gets that move set, which I don't know yet. Oh, and there's another one. We got another one, Totodile, another water type. This is one of the Johto region starters, and why is everything I'm catching right now such low CP? Um, this should be about as rare as Squirtle, if uh, the trend continues the way Kanto starters are rare. Got it. So, Totodile is gonna evolve uh, into Croconaw, and then Feraligator, and Feraligator should actually be one of the stronger water types in Gen 2. Again, that's gonna depend largely on what movesets these Pokemon end up getting. Um, but like I said, we're gonna go over all that, you know, in the next couple days. This is exciting. Are you guys excited? All right, we just tracked a Snubble. Tracked a Snubble to this Pokestop. Snubble was originally a normal type Pokemon. It gained fairy typing with Gen 6 when uh, fairy type became a thing. So it should be a fairly common urban spawn. Um, probably not quite on the level of Pidgey and Rattata, but we did see a couple on the nearby list while we were at Ikea. And uh, I'm expecting this to be one of the more common Pokemon in urban, suburban areas. It's gonna evolve to Granbull, which could be a decent attacker depending on its moveset, but by no means will it be spectacular. What else we got? Ooh, oh, that's a lantern. That's Lantern. We're gonna go get that, because that's a big one. 
Lantern is uh, Chin Chow's evolved form. Water and electric. Good hey, what's going on, man? Fan, man. Thank big you. Fan, All right. 1457. This is probably a pretty big lantern. Lantern, if its movesets remain consistent with what we saw in the game master file a few weeks ago, maybe even a month ago, uh, it could be a useful Pokemon as both an electric attacker and a water type attacker. So let's see what moves we end up getting here if we catch this, which we are. And uh, these new Pokeball physics are really, really messing with my ability to get great throws. Oh, my egg just ended. We gotta restart that. So Water Gun and Thunder. Um, water Gun, as you know, great water type attack. Spark is its other possible electric type attack, if, if like I said, that remains consistent. So Spark and Thunder, good moveset. Water Gun and Hydro Pump would also be a good moveset. Uh, split moveset like this, it's gonna be good against Charizard. I'm not seeing it yet, but Cassie has a Hound Hour on her nearby list. So we're gonna get some drinks and uh, and head over that way. Okay, really quickly, I just caught a Slowpoke and check it out. There are options. You can choose whether you want to evolve to Slowbro or Slow King. Obviously, Slow King is gonna require a King's Rock, which I haven't found yet. But we're gonna keep spinning these Pokestops and see if we can get some of these new evolution items to drop. Getting a second chance at Chinchou here. Again, this evolves into Lantern, which I already caught, and there it is, over on the side. Some of that new movement we're seeing. Um, if it's going to the right side, I'm gonna have to start practicing my curveballs the other way. Got it, though. That's another new Pokemon. And I'm not sure if Hound Hour's still there, but we're gonna keep moving that way. Lediba, another new one. This is a bug and flying type, and this one should be really common, and that's kind of some crazy movement there, Lediba. Um, this will probably be similar to Caterpie and Weedle in terms of rarity. Lediba and Spinarak were sort of the common bugs of Gen 2. Is it Nana Berry that's going to slow it down? Let's see. Well, it's not moving at all anymore, so maybe that's the one. It's getting windy. There's definitely a storm coming in tonight. Sweet. Lediba. Um, Lediba is going to evolve into Ledian, again a bug and flying type. It's actually really weak. It won't be very good at all. But Ledian is one of my favorite Pokemon designs. Hopefully we'll get to see that soon. 25 candies for the evolution, so shouldn't be a huge deal. Hound Hour. This one's exciting. One of my favorite Gen 2 Pokemon. It's a fire and dark type. In Gen 2, you're gonna see the first dark type Pokemon in the game. Hound Hour, I'm expecting it to be a little bit more rare than Growlithe, but it'll probably appear in similar biomes. Got it. Hound Hour is gonna evolve into Hound Doom, which is a big horned dog. Not a horned dog, a horned dog. You can see the silhouette there. So this is really cool because this is the first time we're going to see Pokemon with dark type moves that are benefiting from stab. I'm expecting Houndoom to be a pretty decent attacker. It could probably be good as a dark type or a fire type attacker depending on what moveset it ends up getting. That's exciting. I like this. Definitely a favorite for me there. Ooh, and there's a Furret. How far is that? Parking structure? Let's go get a Furret. Check it out. Here's Furret. Furret is the evolved form of Sentret and will be common just like, uh, as common as Raticate, I'm expecting. So it's exciting the first time, it'll probably get kind of old quickly. It's not going to be very strong, it doesn't have good stats, um, but if it has like decent moves it could be a good prestiger like Raticate is. Let's see, 14, 20, I'm loving this experience, you guys know I need it. Uh, Sucker Punch Hyper Beam. I don't know. We're gonna have a whole video going over all these new moves and I found out that existing Pokemon did get some of the new moves. For example, uh, Pidgeot can now learn Brave Bird, which is a much stronger uh, flying type attack. So that's exciting. We'll find out what all's changed there and talk about that again sometime in the next few days. A lot's going on, you guys. Fire up here, maybe? 
Yeah. It smells like, yeah. It does smell like pee in here. But you know what? There's music playing out there. And, uh, well, I can't afford a copyright strike. So, uh, if you don't want vloggers shooting in your establishment, just play music really loud. We can't use it. So here's Quillfish. Quillfish is a water and poison type. It's not going to evolve ever in any generation that exists currently. Got to practice the curveballs going this way. So it shouldn't have great stats. Um, it could have some interesting moves. Right now and forever, really, poison isn't the strongest type offensively. But you know, it, oh shoot, my lucky egg ended. It could be, uh, it could be a good Pokemon depending on its move sets. Water Gun, Sludge Wave. It seems like it's probably going to have similar moves to Tentacruel, but, you know, Tentacruel doesn't actually get Water Gun. Ooh, and look at that, right behind it, off my incense, we have Sunkern. Sunkern is a pure grass type. It evolves into Sunflora, which is not a very strong Pokemon as well. Um, Sunkern should be fairly common in grass biomes, so anywhere you find Oddish and Bellsprout, I would expect Sunkern to be there as well. Dang it, I forgot the egg. I just missed out on a thousand experience. Also, sorry about the weird echo, but like I said, expensive music playing out there. Sunkern is going to require a Sunstone to evolve to Sunflora. If you find a Sunstone, I would recommend using that to get your Bellossom first, and then wait on Sunflora because, like I said, Sunflora is not that great. But at this point, Every new catch is exciting. Now, uh, we're gonna get some coffee and keep looking for a new Pokemon. Okay, okay. Yes. Here's a big one, Granbull. This is Snubble's evolved form, and we're gonna find out how good it can actually be. 1581. 1581 is a very significant Pokemon. Let's see what level this is. Excellent throw, I better get this. That's a lot of experience. And my egg still isn't on. Okay. Quickly, quickly. Got the egg on. That's not it. Oh my god. Okay, I got it. We're going Ultra Ball, Raspberry. No double berries. Interesting. Only one berry at a time. There's a great throw. Did you catch it? Oh, uh, yeah. She already caught it. She's always faster than me. Uh oh. Okay, I got the laggy catch there. 1220 experience. Of course, I caught it on the one where I didn't get great or excellent. But there it is. Bite and close combat. A new move, a fighting type move. 100 power, very strong. Hopefully, Machamp has that as a possible move set now. And decent IVs. So, Granville could get, uh, could be a pretty decent Pokemon. Bite and close combat are, well, neither of them are fairy, so it's not going to get stab on those, but strong moves. And look. Look right there, another snubble from the incense. Cassie's got her coffee. We're walking up on a slugma here. I've really never seen Go Plus flash yellow and it has a different vibration pattern for that, so that's good to know, but slugma. Slugma is a fire type. It evolves into Magcargo, which is a fire and rock snail. 513. They're probably not going to have uh, exceptional stats. Depending on the moveset, they could be fairly useful. I'd put them at uncommon uh, among fire type Pokemon. Probably spawning in the same biomes as Pokemon like Growlithe, like we've seen here. Houndour, obviously, we caught earlier. And this one is giving me a very hard time. Go. At least got the nice throw on it. Come on. Still getting used to these new Pokeball physics. It's like spin and then barely move your thumb and let go. There's no more big swipes involved. There we go. Slugma. New Pokemon with a great throw. And there it is. Uh, 50 candies to evolve to Mag Cargo. Slugma, like I said, fire type evolves into fire and rock type but already knows two rock type moves here, rock throw and rock slide, which is, uh, rock slide has changed also. Moves have been changed. Moves have been rebalanced. Rock slide used to be a three bar move and did less damage. So there's another thing we're gonna have to talk about, the changes to existing moves. It's gonna be 
a big week, a big month, a lot coming on the channel and in Pokemon Go. Cassie is super intrigued by this building. Why? What's what's up with this building? I don't know. It's just abandoned. I like abandoned buildings. It's mysterious. We looked it up one time. It's an old office building that was built back in the 20s, and this used to be waterfront. The water used to actually come all the way up here. All this, the entire pike, the harbor, shoreline village, all that was built out. There used to actually be a sandy beach that came up here. So, uh, there we go. Humans overruling geography and natural processes. <laughs> 